This is a 1973 Zenith Chroma Color console TV 23DC14 chassis. I want to do an analysis on this set. This is back when they were just starting to lose their looks. This one still looks okay as far as a wood console, floor console, TV console, color console, Zenith chroma color. So I've had this for quite a while and it's just been in storage and I was recently reading some stuff about someone was asking about the focus board in a chroma color arcing and this TV has had the modification that was in the PF reporter and I, I the reason why I drug it drug it out is so you could see the actual correct modification to fix the conductive focus board that arcs all over the place so anyway I want to check the CRT we'll take a look at the guts and fire it up see how it works see if it's worth keeping or if it's EOL material this is when the cabinets this technology started to improve but the cabinets started to turn to crap plastic a lot less wood take a little bit of a close-up here I believe this video is in 4k also That's when the Zenith logo changed and had those little star pattern on the front of it. Chromatic tuning. I'm much more fond of the mid to late 60s Zenith color sets, but boy are they hard to find out here. I don't know why, but I guess they just weren't marketed that heavy or distributed that heavy out in the west coast but i can find just about everything except zenus they are scarce out here got the lovely decorative handles on the front here's a look at the back This says 91073 on it. I'm not sure in pencil. I'm not sure. Maybe that's when it was ATV Service Center, Gardena, California. Hmm. Toll free number. God, toll free. That doesn't even exist anymore. Voices free no matter what now pretty much let's pop the back off this is a four tube hybrid set it uses four tubes horizontal output damper vertical output and then the 6u10 there the little tiny stubby tube that's the whole they call that like the horizontal oscillator discharge this also has a bunch of integrated circuits in it so this, this came in that time when, and I don't quite know why Zenith was doing this. Maybe they just had parts left over, but by this date, Zenith already had a fully solid state chassis, I believe, 1973. But maybe that was the higher end model. I don't know. Power transformer. the tube and transistor chart sorry it's shaky yoke is made in Holland it's a 111 megabyte yoke and here's what I was talking about the focus board on these things they become that red becomes conductive Try and get some light on it here. So that red board becomes conductive 
and you can see they actually just well it looks like this one burned up completely but the recommended repair for this is see how there's that hole notched in that the recommended repair is just to take like a Dremel and notch the red board like new circuit boards on the high voltage stuff between the line and the secondary they have like a notch in the board to prevent carbon tracking that's what the recommended fix is for these red boards uh, because they become conductive I have a tabletop set that has the same problem and I'm gonna have to notch it too and I'm sure this these things were fairly unreliable they had a lot of trouble I'm sure the tripler's been replaced. I bet the CR the CRT looks like it's been replaced. Audio chip on this board right here goes bad and you lose sound. These are fairly problematic sets. I know co the common mythology is that they're one of the best sets ever built, but they're actually quite troublesome. This, these are the growing pain years of early solid state. You can see what I meant by the cabinet going downhill. See how it's plastic? The cabinet is plastic. So it's like a mix of tubes, ICs, and transistors, and a mix of plastic particle board and hardwood cabinet. It's like the, the base, the part that touches the floor, and the part that's going to get hit repetitively with a vacuum cleaner that's hardwood the intermediate part right here is particle board the sides are plastic and the top is particle board so it's like re refining the quality down to the cheapest possible you know just just what's needed to survive in that specific application or placement Okay, let's see what we get here. Cut off. We have some cut off. Marginal. Blue is marginal. Uh, who knows how long it's been since this thing was run, but blue is still marginal. I always thought red was the gun that died first. That red was always the one that was driven the hardest. But maybe blue is. There's not a whole lot of red content. I mean, in most... So yeah, marginal. Blue is marginal. One of my main reasons for digging this out was to cover this focus board, and this is not exactly what I remember. What I remember is, you know, clean notches cut in it. And it looks like here somebody just globbed silicone all over they cut the board out because the board had become conductive and was arcing and then they just kind of left the parts free hanging there and blobbed silicone all over it I don't know how tight in I can get on this let me see that's about it so you can see there's a couple what 20 megs there and they're um, just covered with silicone. Caution, high voltage area. I have a 19CC19, which is a tabletop chroma color um, four tube hybrid, just like this one. 
And they also, and they, they, they got away from the high voltage rectifier tube and went with a tripler. So the flybacks are much less likely to fail on these because they don't have that super high voltage stack winding. The, the high voltage winding on the flyback is a much lower output and then the tripler brings it up instead of having all of the multiplication done in the the uh, flyback it's done in the tripler but the triplers fail and they're very high failure rate parts considerably to other parts check this out this can't be OEM that doesn't seem legit to me I mean these this is how Zenith would have done it right here with the fuses so yeah, this, like all of these, this has had an absolute ton of work done to it. So anyway, let's get a cord and plug it in and see if it arcs and smokes or what happens. This is not real high on my save list. The plastic, plastic kind of kills it. Say yes to plastic. Hey, here we go. Always best to watch the back when you power one of these up. Wow. Is this my spammer call, hopefully? Stand by. All right, unfortunately, that was a legitimate voice call with, uh, back to this. So that seems a little bit excessive. So we're starting off at 130 watts. And then as the tubes warm up, we're climbing to 200 watts. That 75 watts through those tubes, that seems very excessive. But it has a picture, so... Can you drive 75 watts through a 6LF6? That seems like a hell of a lot of power. Nice and bright with a lot of sparklies there. Check that out. I can still put my hand on the 6LF6, so it's not like red plating or anything. Guess I could check the cathode current on it, but I don't really care that much about this. All right, let's get a converter box on this thing. See if we can watch some uh, Jerry Springer. He really tried hard to get a copper and they ate him up. We'll be back. So there you are with your impression. Uh, and stupid you switch is very dirty. Because depression is multiple. Okay, time for a change. So your doctor tells you about Trintel. Medicine for depression. And you feel this Oh, what are the side effects on this? There you go. And Trintelix had no significant impact on weight in clinical trials. Tell your doctor right away if you have worsening depression, unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Do not take with MAOIs. Tell your doctor about your medications, including migraines, psychiatric, and depression medications, to avoid a potentially life-threatening condition. Increased risk of bleeding and bruising may occur, especially if taken with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners. Manic episodes or vision problems may occur in some people, may cause low sodium levels. Common side effects include nausea, constipation, and vomiting. No kidding, this is Oh, sounds like good stuff. Ask your doctor about changing to Trintelix. I love my low sodium time, levels. It's his turn. You have 4.3 minutes to yourself. Let your doctor know if you're about to get a, a semi-auto rifle and go to your local uh, mall and make a mess out of things. My just didn't... 
until I almost lost my life. My doctors again ordered me to take So this aspirin switch. Be sure to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Listen to the doctor. Take it seriously. I was on the fence about changing from a manual to an electric toothbrush. Me too. Jenna said going electric into way cleaner teeth. Oh, she yeah. said get the one inspired by dentists with the round brush head. Go pro with Oral-B. Oral-B's gentle rounded brush head removes more plaque along the gum line for cleaner teeth and healthier gums. And unlike Sonicare, Oral-B is the first electric toothbrush and accepted by the ADA for its effectiveness. You know, I don't watch TV, so when I see these commercials, they just seem so stupid. Oh, and another thing I was going to say, we were looking at the wattage draw on this thing. I just picked up a smart TV, a small Samsung smart TV, so I could take a look at what YouTube, some YouTube videos look like, including my own. The smart TV uses 16 watts, 1-6 watts. This uses about 210. I bet they think we also have unicorns. Lunchtime today, Jay Han and Sarah are partying because the one and only Drew Barrymore is in the house. Lunchtime at 1 Eastern, 12 Central, and Pacific on ABC. ABC South. SoCal Challenge is coming to your neighborhood. Join us next Friday at Mathis Brothers in Ontario and Albertsons in Gardena. Bring your cans and bags of food to donate to the food bank. Help stuff a truck to feed SoCal. L.A. comes together for one powerful week of unity and celebration. Live from L.A. Pride, Saturday at 6.30. Then watch the L.A. Pride Day live Sunday morning at 11, only on PC7. Okay. Works good. Just needs the controls cleaned. I think this TV is actually acceptable. It, it looks acceptable. It works acceptable. To, if this was to the time was taken to dial this in this would have an excellent picture I don't smell any corona I don't see any arcing so as an analysis I don't even really see anything that needs to be done to this except the controls cleaned and it put into service but uh, anyway there it is a 1973 Zenith chroma color four tube hybrid color wood console television with wheels on the bottom 